Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, Let's Play Commander Keen Episode 3, Keen Must Die. So, we have made it to this new area here. I'm going to have a little wander into this level next. So, let's see what um, what is in here. So, we've got a little sort of housey place built into what looks like a cliff or something. Let's, let's try not to die and stuff. Um, how much ammo do we have? 13 charges at the moment. Not a huge amount. We really want to be picking up more ammo somewhere, but we'll, I'm sure we'll find some gradually as we wander through these areas here. Um, I don't know what that thing says. This this episode of the game, you can actually find the, the standard galactic alphabet. We'll see that much later on in the playthrough, probably towards the very end. But um, you know, you can actually you can write down the whole thing and you know go around the, the, all the the king games, translating the signs. You can actually you know from the first two games, you can probably pick up quite a a lot of it just from the stuff that's obvious, like the city names in in King Two and that kind of thing. Um, but, right, let's do, right, one, one handy thing about these guys, you can actually shoot their, um, you know, with their, their fireballs as well and that cancels them out, so they're not quite as threatening as they could be, uh, they're still pretty annoying when they get there in high numbers because they tend to chew through your ammunition and that's, ah, uh, so does Pogoing as always with these, First Keen Trilogy games, this the, the Pogo shooting thing gets fixed in Keen 4, fortunately. Um, but anyway, right, there's a Vortigan down here, which we were fortunate to miss there. Ah, oh, he jumped over. Right, there we go. Now, oh, we took out one of the other ones anyway, so that wasn't a huge waste of ammo. We need this green key. It is possible to go to the end of the level and then get stuck if you don't get that green key first. So if you, if you do play this game and attempt this level, get the green key before coming down here because you can see down there that that's a Vorta Ninja by the way that little guy down there if you if you go through that way without picking up the green key you actually can't get out of that little area as well and you are screwed um, now the Vorticans can jump up through that but I'm just going to wander across here and I make our way over to this bit an extra life that's nice Let's get that. Now, over here, doo -doo -doo, this is a ball. They don't kill you, fortunately. They shove you around and they're very fast. They're pretty annoying, especially when there's dangerous obstacles around. Uh, you you want to kind of avoid those. They don't tend to show up too often, though. So, um, This here is an ankh. Now, these things generate you temporary invulnerability, which means rather than wasting a whole bunch of ammunition taking out this Vorti Ninja, we're going to pick up the Ankh and just run right past everyone and go for the exit. There we go. Do -do 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 there we go. We still have three seconds of Ankh time, apparently. I don't know if that transfers onto the next level, but well, let's, let's wander in and see. Do -do -do. Yeah, it doesn't. So, <laughs> anyway, this is the next level. This is another Vortican city by the looks of it. There's some lovely Vortican buildings and whatnot. Now, what we really want to happen here is we would like... Nah, we're coming too far across here. We've got 33 shots. We've got a few more shots at this point. We really wanted the Vortican mum to come down and shoot the, the Vortican guy there. But that wasn't going to happen, so let's just move on. The Yeah, the Vortican mothers can actually shoot quite a lot of the other enemies in the game so if you can if you can lure them towards them then they can just take each other out it's quite handy sometimes well, okay so there's some clouds up here you can generally stand on these clouds which is quite nice um, sometimes it can lead to secret stuff that uh, seems like quite a treacherous path along there so I might not manage that one but there was another direction you could go as well let's see what's up here. Nah, failed. Fairly, fairly fail. Whoops. Right, now let's wander back across here now. The Whoa, let's not. 
Hey, Mr. Vorticon, come down here so I can shoot you in the face. There we go. And an extra life. Uh, one, one strange thing about this game, I mean, the, the candy bars, according to the according to the help, Zito candy bars are meant to be worth 100 points. Um, but if you look here, I've got 81,300 points, and grabbing one of these takes it to 81,800. So they actually give you 500 points. Um, which is cool because they're quite a common, uh, they're quite a common item. I don't know if they did that purely because this game is actually such a, a step up in difficulty. Maybe they changed the points value of it in the last minute to give us a few extra lives, just to give us some sort of degree of fairness. Because there are some levels later on in this game that do get pretty unfair. Um, we'll see those soon enough. Particularly the military installations. I remember those being pretty horrendous at times. Uh, now. This here, there's a yellow key card down there. I'm not even going to bother picking it up. The, the, the fact that Vortican is just such a pain to get past, and you don't actually need it in this level. Um, so there's there's the yellow door down at the bottom right there, but there's another way past, um, so I'm not going to bother with it. That thing in at the side there, that is a jack. Um, the are extremely fast, they kill you in one shot, and I am not going to bother going for those bears for that very reason. There is absolutely nothing that is going to make me want to do that. So, we're going to completely ignore that little area, but we can go up here, and we can actually get out of this window up at the top here. Um, jump across the clouds for some extra ammo. Now this here is a school. Uh, you can see a little Vortican translation of Earth there. So they're they're teaching their children. Oh no! Ah uh, yeah, the the Vortican youths are still a humongous pain in this game, as you can see. They'll stun you in places where you really don't want to be stunned and end up killing you. But that does mean though, is we can collect all this ammo again. So let's just grab that. And grab the power ups again. So, um, come on down here. We need you to come down here so that I can shoot you. Another weird thing that they do if they if they are if they fall down a hole, like the Vortican mums there. Like if if they fall down and then shoot while they're in midair, they actually kind of hover. <laughs> they kind of freeze in midair, and it looks really weird. But anyway, and um, let's let's try this one more time and see if we can get across here. Ah, some cake, Vorti cake. Right, let's make our way back across. Derp, 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 derp. Pogo, 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 pogo. Jump, pogo, 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 pogo. Now, here's a, a different area. Uh, seems to be on top of the building with the key card. Can I get on the roof here? Is there anything in the roof, perhaps? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff up here. This is actually it just takes you to the the other path where you can you can go up this way anyway. But uh, I'm not going to bother collecting all the point stuff again. There's plenty of it around here anyway. Um, let's just make our way back up to where we were. So we were going past this schoolhouse when one of those little kids inadvertently got us killed. Um, let's just wander along. So. I believe that sign up there says Valden Park, which is the sort of unofficial name of this level. That guy down there is a meep. They, you want to watch out for them because their their projectiles go through walls, uh, which is kind of annoying. They also are slightly more than one tile high, so even if you're standing in the platform up above, it will still hit you, um, which is a bit annoying um, if you're if you're not prepared for it. Um, it's quite very easy to get caught out by them if you're not sure how they kind of work. I, I can remember how they actually do things, so I'm um, not in too much trouble there. There's some ammunition, and we'll make our way a little further along. Oh uh, no, we won't. Let's let's just let's just head down. So we now need to get down here. 
without hitting one of those. Those little volcano things actually kill you as well. Um, and so, so do that. I don't know if you've seen the little fish things that are dotted around some of the levels on the surface. They kill you as well, naturally. Uh, that gun up there is not one that you want to go near. That's not a collectible one. That one actually shoots you. Um, so I'm just going to grab that key. I'm not going to bother with the bear here. I'm going to run along here and pick up this ammunition. Now... That gives us a whole bunch of shots here. Um, further along here, there's a bunch of doors um, which have actually the. Um, if you go further along this way, there's a bunch of Vorti ninjas for you to waste all your ammo on. I'm not going to bother because it is just a humongous waste of ammunition. Because you can actually get back up here through that way. You can jump up. That's that waterfall doesn't actually have any blocks behind it, so you can drop down it, you can jump back up it like that, and then we can just head for the exit. So, da 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 So, okay, so that is another area complete. So, uh, let's see, let's... Um, I'm going to stop the video here, but in the next part we will explore these little um, areas here um, and see what awaits us. In the meantime, uh, you know, as always, I hope you're enjoying the series here. And if you if you are, you know, feel free to give us a like, uh, leave us some feedback in the comments, and you know, subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. We do appreciate it. Um, as always, guys, I hope you guys are all okay, and I hope to see you for the next part. In the meantime, take care, and I'll catch you later. See ya.